Hey guys, okay, just wanted to show you this grade five BJU press. This is the workbooks for the kiddos. So I just bought extra workbooks for some stuff from grade two, three, four, and five. Um, I just thought it'd be a good idea to buy certain uh, workbooks just in case they change the editions. Also for financial reasons, I'm trying to just kind of buy stuff in advance because when I buy the BJU uh, parent-led stuff, I know it's an investment and I know that I'm going to be uh, spending a lot of money up front and that becomes a benefit to me later because all I have to do is buy a workbook later. So for example, when you buy like just the English subject kit, parent-led, it's like a hundred bucks. I think I pay 75 bucks because I always buy it through the sales with Homeworks by Precepts Consultants. So they normally do 10% off and free shipping all year round when you order through them. But it's, I think, 25% off the subject kit. And I think 25% off the whole grade, uh, the whole grade kit for parent-led. They have different kinds of de deals. But anyways... Um, so you spend a hundred bucks, but I spend 75 because I buy it at a certain time of year. So basically the next workbook might be like $30. So you might spend a little more up front, but if you have other children, it can be cheap in the long run because you're only spending 30 bucks for the following year, the following year for each next child. So I'm just going to do a quick little flip through and show you what this looks like. Um, I have the brand new reading edition, and then I have English 5, Heritage Studies, which is their history, science, and math. Um, and we did the videos for quite a few of these subjects. Some of them I did video-led, and some of them I did parent-led. Parent-led, you have the teacher's guide and you do it alone with them. Video is like you can log on BJU's website, or you can get DVDs and the teacher teaches through the videos and they let you see the teacher's guide on the parent dashboard but i go a step ahead and i buy the physical teacher's guides even if i chose the video subject so i did math for the video subject i think i did science heritage studies in english and then i think reading five i just did parent led but like I said, for these for these ones that I did here with the videos, the video subjects, you have the teacher's guide on your computer through the parent dashboard. I bought it um, physically at an additional cost and I think it's 50% off. So usually they're like 55 to 80 bucks. I think an average of like 65. So I paid half that price to have the physical teacher's guide. So I'm just going to do a quick little flip through to show you what the kids' workbooks look like. So this is reading five. So you have a reader, you have teacher's guides, you have a book that looks like this that's the answers. So this is like when they read in the reader book, they, um, they then answer questions on a, as a workbook page. So I'm not going to do like every page, but I'm just kind of show you just, you know, you kind of get like an idea of what it looks like. And um, as always in every video, if you hear a kid in the background, I'm sorry. It is what it is. They're always there. <laughs> So this is like their newest edition for reading five. So like I said, they have a reader and then you have the workbook answer key. You have this thing for assessments. I don't know what it is. I haven't looked into it. And then you have, um, I think three teacher's guides. And so what that does is like in the teacher's guide for the reading, you see what the student's reader book looks like where they have all the different stories. And it, it's like, it shows the actual page that they see in the teacher's guide. And then to the sides, like in here, it'll have like questions that you ask the student, you know, answers that you might expect to see. So anyways, that's the reader. Here's their English. Okay, so what makes their English different than, say, a Becca? 
a Becca, in my opinion, I'm not, I'm not a veteran homeschool mom here, but a Becca, in my opinion, focuses a little more heavily on grammar and they're very good at it. A Becca is spiral. I believe BJU Press is mastery, which means they focus more on something heavily and move on. And spiral is like, they'll teach you a concept, then they introduce a new one, but then they kind of ask you another question again about the old thing that you learned to kind of keep it fresh in your mind. Every student is different and what works for one kid may not work for another. So if something's not working for you, don't, don't, don't stress about it. Just give it up. You know, like there's some things that it's like, no, we need to push through this because we're not going to be lazy. But if, but if something is just not working for your child because of the style it is, then I would recommend that you give it up and find what works for your child. But obviously every situation is unique. So with BJU English, you're gonna see one chapter of grammar, one chapter of writing, one chapter of grammar, one chapter of writing. And I believe they started like that in second grade. So like Abeka is just like, when I bought the BJU press and I did the English three, I ended up buying the Abeka grade three language because I just, I felt like we needed it. But I'm not dog in BJU Press. I just, you know, every curriculum is different and they, they have different things. So this is not like an entire flip through, but just kind of going through it. And I have other videos. So if you want to see like in depth, check out my other videos. This channel as of right now is predominantly flip throughs of homeschool curriculum. There's, I'm sure I'll do other things at some point maybe, but for now, this is it. I'm not trying to show all the words individually. I'm just trying to kind of show you what it looks like on the inside. But like I said, there's more information. You might spend a little bit more with BJU, but you sure get your money worth. They have so much resources. And I will say the stuff that they include in these subject kits, you might pay extra for with a different curriculum. So. I'm very impressed with BJU Press. I do kind of worry that some of their new editions are coming out weak. I was looking at something, I think it was like an English, I think it was like, I, won't, I don't want to be too specific, but I felt like some of their new editions were, were coming out kind of weak. Um, almost like less questions, almost like they were watering it down and it's like, no, don't do that. Because the thing is, if something's not working for a certain child, like if it's too much for a certain child, just just do half the questions. Just cross out all the even numbers and have them do the odd numbers or whatever. But I wouldn't just chop out the whole curriculum itself. Let it let it have more than what you need and let the parent decide if they need to chop something out, but don't just chop it out for them. And I I can't I can't say a hundred percent what I'm saying is accurate. I looked at the samples online. So that, that's where I'm going with this. I looked at the samples online and I compared the old edition to the new edition of certain, certain subjects. And I felt like it was watered down. I did talk to the homeworks by precepts consultant that I ordered this from. And I told her what I thought. And she said that she also thought that there was some things that they were doing a little differently with the new editions that were perhaps watering certain things down a little bit. She didn't use that exact terminology. She just, she said she understood. And she said that they get feedback from people and that maybe they're listening to the wrong feedback. Like I said, if something is too much for somebody, just let that person take it out. Don't, don't take it out of the whole subject or like the whole, don't take it out for other people is what I'm saying. Like, when I'm doing English for my kids, I don't want like seven or 10 questions for English. I, I want it to be a good little day's work 
and then we feel good and we're done and we, mo we move on. But um, we still don't spend a lot of time homeschooling. Like the, the benefit of homeschooling is you might only spend a couple of hours a day, depending on the grade that you're at. And it also depends on if you do the videos. If you do the videos, it's gonna take a lot longer. But um, I love homeschooling for the fact that you, um, you can get through things quickly where your kid might be at school for six to eight hours you know, depending on the, you know, where you're going, um, at home, you can get the same amount of work done in just a couple hours, you know, depending on the grade. And that's what I really like about it. We can spend the rest of the day doing other things and we like to do stuff. So. I don't want to be too long. There's so many noises going on outside. I know my husband's here, but still there's so many noises. I can't spend much time. I'll do a flip through of each thing individually though if I don't already have it. Leave a comment. Check out the other videos I have if you want to see something. And if I have not done that video, leave a comment and tell me what you want to see. And I will do it. Okay. Just wanted to show you this. I'm sorry if I'm like rambling. I don't really mean to ramble. What else am I going to talk about though, right? I mean, I'm just sitting here flipping through books. So I'm just kind of sharing, but don't take everything I say for, you know, too seriously, because there's some things that I'm basing for different reasons from what I've seen. So I, you know, I'm not trying to say I know everything because I don't. I will say something I've noticed in, I think it was grade four math or maybe it was grade five. It looked like they had taken out some of the reviews in the newer edition, and I did not like that. It was like, normally you would have like a cumulative review. Yeah, you'd have a chapter review, a cumulative review. And I think they've done a new edition on this one, I'm not sure. I didn't like that. I, I like the new one they chopped it out, I think. I, I want it in there. I like those extra practice reviews. Anyways, y'all have a good day. Just wanted to show you this. Bye-bye.